when you look at the greatest hits of Oscar, they're always from the speeches. They're Roberto Benigni jumping on the chairs. They're Bong Joon-ho talking, quoting Martin Scorsese to Martin Scorsese in the audience. They're Jennifer Lawrence tripping up the stairs or Sally Field saying, you like me. So, uh, or Spike Lee almost taking out Sam Jackson by jumping on him. <laughs> right. But it, it's, you know, or Jack Palance doing push-ups. I mean, there's, there's something about, you know, and, and the director of the show, Glenn Weiss, actually gave one of the great speeches of all time at the Emmy Awards when he proposed to his wife. I, I think that if people use this opportunity to celebrate what they love about the movies because the movies are the way we define how we live our lives and they know that they're talking to that room of their peers and also to the world to say hey you can have a great life come join us if you love movies there's a place for you well because of covid um, it's certainly a much more intimate affair and I think the way that we've approached it is how do we take what might be viewed as a negative and turn it into a positive. So we will only be there with the nominees, their guests, and the presenters. You have everybody from Z Zendaya to Regina to Brad Pitt to Laura Dern. I mean it is To just Rita Moreno. Re yes. To Harrison Ford. And they all have a purpose. Joaquin Phoenix, Renee Zellweger, they all have a purpose. None of them will feel like they're out there to promote a movie or a show. You know, they're all coming to do their, do their job. I think it sets the table for the evening. I think it, you're watching this, you're gonna say, okay, this is different. This is not the normal uh, precast or pre-show. I'm learning about these stars. I'm seeing them interact. I'm seeing community. I'm seeing amazing music performances. I'm seeing people talk about those performances. It's kind of like someone who's never been to the Oscars, what I would imagine the lobby before all of the stars go in. Bring Your Movie Love is about community. It's about everybody coming together for the love of cinema. Let's put everything else aside. Think about when Movies come out, we all go to the theaters. We don't ask anybody what their political views are, or this, that. We just all sit there for two hours, and we are focused on this story. And we laugh, we cry, we clap at the end. Um, that's what we want. Three hours, exactly three hours of escape. I think, it, I think Bring Your Movie Love is also a very um, all-encompassing, um, like it's a big tent. You know, my movie love can run the gamut from an international film to a Marvel film and everything in between. But I think what we're saying is leave your cynicism at the door. Come in with, with remembering what it is to gather and debate what your favorite scenes were or the lines you quote or outfits you wore because of the movies that you loved and what you can't wait for. And, and that's what I think we're leaning into.